Success isn't something you achieve by accident, but rather by design. This is actually a quote from David H. Murdoch. And David Murdoch's life script is yet another ode to the phrase rags to riches. The man is still going strong, health-wise as well. The man is a proponent and example of another phrase, health is wealth. Born on April 11, 1923 in Kansas City, Missouri, Murdoch was born as a middle child among two sisters to a lower middle class family. His father was a traveling salesman with no guarantee of fixed income. His mother worked as a housemaid, doing odd laundry jobs and scrubbing floors of rich people in order to make ends meet. Young David was attached to his mother and shared a very great bonding to her. So when she died due to ovarian cancer at the very young age of 42, he found it very difficult to come to terms with the loss. He grew up in Montgomery, Ohio with his two sisters and dropped out of his high school when he was in the ninth grade. Out of school, Murdoch worked in a gas station as an attendant. He had no definite clue about what to do with his life before he was suddenly recruited by the United States Army during the First World War in the year 1943. He served in the real war and relocated to Detroit post-war. Then post-war, his financial conditions uh, were pretty much in doldrums. Due to lack of good educational qualifications, Murdoch actually had nowhere to go and no place to stay. He was completely homeless and desperate, and he just needed some sort of aid to move on with his life. A chance meeting with a good Samaritan changed the course of his life. The man loaned him $1,200. Murdoch asked the owner of a small-time fast-food restaurant that was shutting shop to sell it off to him. He worked diligently and worked hard on bettering the expectations of customers with quality offerings, so much so that the restaurant was actually soaking in profits, exceeding $700, which was a good 10 months down the line. Flushed with the entrepreneurial high, Murdoch relocated to Phoenix, Arizona and started working in the housing industry. He tried his hand in commercial real estate as well. Just when things looked promising, the real estate market collapsed and he had to relocate to Los Angeles. He began working feverishly and started growing in the industry. He began unleashing a string of acquisitions, including acquiring international mining in 1978. In the year 1981, he actually became the largest shareholder in Occidental Petroleum when he sold the company his 18% share in Iowa Beef. It was always the buying and selling and acquisitions of companies that helped Murdoch flourish as an entrepreneur. After becoming the shareholder in the Occidental Petroleum Company, he succeeded Cannon Mills in Kannapolis in North Carolina as the owner after Charles Cannon actually passed away in 1982. He made the company even more profitable than it was, and three years later, he sold it to Fieldcrest. Murdoch felt that he could turn over the fortunes of a company in Hawaii called Castle & Cook. Was actually, they were on the edge of bankruptcy. They were also the owners of a famous banana and pineapple orchards company, which all of you may know, uh, called Dole Food Company. Murdoch expanded Castle & Cook, bringing many residential and commercial estates into its fold. He turned Dole Food Company into the world's largest vegetable and fruit producer, with a catalog of more than 300 products and operating in more than 90 countries. After his success in the Hawaiian territory with the Castle & Cook firm and Dole Food Company, Murdoch was given 98% share of the sixth largest island in Hawaii uh, called Lanai. And sorry, Hawaiians, if I'm pronouncing that beautiful island's name wrong. Though he privately bought Dole Food Company in 2003, he took the company public in October 2009 with a $466 million IPO. Due to his expansion of Castle & Cook, Murdoch acquired 90% ownership of Lanai. Uh, Lanai? Lanai? Again, I'm sorry about the pronunciation there. That's actually the sixth largest island in Hawaii, which is kind of an interesting fact. Which he eventually uh, sold this island, uh, or this ownership, uh, to Larry Ellison, the Oracle founder, in the year 2012. Murdoch had married five times. With his third wife, Gabriel, who he married in 1967, he had two daughters, including one son from her previous marriage. Unfortunately, Gabriel was actually diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 1983 and passed away two years later. Murdoch was deeply affected with the death of his wife, who had died to the same, you know, disease, you know, because as his mother did. To compound his problem further, Eugene, uh, his adopted son, died one year later when he was hit in the head uh, while swimming in their pool. In 2004, Murdoch had to contend with yet another loss, this time uh, with his son, uh, David Jr., who died uh, in a car crash on the Santa Monica Freeway. His only son, Justin, is the CEO and executive chairman of Nova Rx and also the president of Castle & Cook. After losing his wife to cancer, Murdoch has always taken the initiative when it came to fighting for cancer patients all over the world. He has written several books about health and fitness and founded the California Health and Longevity Institute. He has been actively involved in fighting cancer, or you know, fighting cancer, trying to look for cures, and of course, research, researching and giving advanced nutrition uh, ideas, some birth, uh, and in terms of you know how how to be living long and things that deal with longevity and, and life. He created the Dole Nutrition Institute while research uh, into things like you know uh, plant based diets for good health and disease prevention. He also authored a book called Encyclopedia of Foods: A Guide to Healthy Nutrition. 
Murdoch has mostly been in favor of vegetarian diet since the 60s. He has 20 servings of fruit and vegetables every day, usually blended into smoothies, covering the outer skin of food intact. He believes everything the sun touches, including uh, orange rinds, banana skins, which should be ignored and blended into meals uh, in order to harness optimal beneficial nutritional uh, benefits. Instead of going for nutritional supplements, Murdoch actually opts for organic sources of protein and caps through foods like fish, legumes, egg whites, and beads. He could pass for an attractive man in the 60s. In his words, I have never have anything go wrong, never have a backache, never have a headache, never have anything else. With an average estimate net worth of $3 billion, Murdoch continues to inspire the world of health and wealth. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon for new videos.